Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to offer an invocation now for the unfoldment of the flame of the heart and the heart chakra. Won't you stand? Beloved mighty I am presence, O light of the living flame of love, in the name of God's holy will, we celebrate thy incarnation within us this day. Beloved holy Christ flame and holy Christ self, expand thy light within our temple even so, Lord Jesus Christ, come quickly. Come now to unify and to sanctify thy trinity in our hearts. Mighty action of the solar ring and the corona of the sun and of the tube of light, establish thou it. Let thy light reinforce the protection of every servant of God upon earth and in all systems of worlds. Let there be an elevation of consciousness this day into the glory of God through his mercy to us all. I pray for mercy to come upon all peoples of earth, especially those of the Middle East. By the mercy flame, by the violet flame, let there be a saturation of all hearts. Let there be an unfolding and a softening that the peoples of the earth might abide, now in peace and in oneness, dedicated toward the goal of the union of hearts in God and the binding of all evil forces who would move against that union. Seven archangels of the Holy Word, O thou Holy One of God of Israel, speak to us and speak to our hearts. Let there be the purging of all cities of the earth, of malevolent spirits and discarnates and those that move against our children, our youth, and all people. O oh God, let thy legions of light, summoned by Archangel Gabriel, deliver us from all oppression and bind every opposition to the victory of the light. We decree it, O oh God, and we accept thy love in our hearts as the beginning and the ending of its fulfillment. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother, Amen. Today, our session is under the sponsorship of El Moria, who is the founder of this activity of the Ascended Masters and the Great White Brotherhood. Our beloved El Moria, as you may already know, was embodied as Abraham, as Thomas More and Thomas Beckett, as Akbar, the mighty Mughal Emperor of India, as King Arthur, who was a real historical figure, as one of the Magi who came following the star to the place of Jesus' birth. We have a profound love for him because he is the principal sponsor of our souls as we enter the path of the will of God. He gives us a great deal of himself, and today he gives of himself in our teaching on the unfoldment of the flame of the heart and the expansion of the heart chakra. Serapis Bay gave to us an understanding that we should be concerned as to whether or not we are candidates for the ascension in this life and how can we become candidates? This is a very important question because, first of all, it shows that we do not assume that we will automatically, at the transition of death, enter into realms of light, that there are tests to be passed. While we are on Earth, there are initiations that we will receive, 
We have a right to be tested by God. He has a right to test the metal of our souls. I think that in this world today, we have a lot of, quote, experts in religion who really know very little about the laws of God and the laws of cosmos and what is really involved in being on the path of life. So if we can show the chakra man now and show the seven chakras, I'd like to talk to you about the heart. The heart is the central chakra of your being. It is the line of demarcation between that which is above and that which is below. The chakras that are above the heart, including the heart, are for spiritualization and the exercise of free will in bringing down the kingdom of heaven or the consciousness of God to the earth below. The lower chakras involve the functioning of the body, the regulation of the body, and they involve the subconscious and the unconscious records, levels of karma, and the electronic belt. So if you go to the center of this chart now, you see a pink chakra. It has 12 petals. This is the central sun of your being, just as your I am presence is a replica of the great central sun. So here below, that middle chakra, it has three chakras above it and three below, represents the sun presence. It's the sun of Christ, the holy Christ self. We visualize that sphere of white fire each time we meditate. And as we visualize the white fire intensifying there as a spiritual sun, we know that it does increase. You can so meditate upon the heart that you can feel the burning of the spiritual fire in the heart as a physical sensation. And that is why the disciples said when walking with Jesus on the road to Emmaus, did not our hearts burn within us? They did not recognize him in his human form, but their hearts burned by their proximity to their Lord and their Savior. This pink chakra represents divine love. It has 12 petals. That means it focuses the balance of the 12 signs of the zodiac, which are actually 12 hierarchies of light under whom we take our initiations, whereby we can enter into the 12 gates of the city four square. Each of those gates represents another path and another victory we are intended to have. We begin then with the heart chakra as the seat of true Christ consciousness. The heart chakra is not the chakra of the threefold flame. The threefold flame, as you will learn in studies of the human aura under Dwal Kul's teaching, is sealed in an antechamber, the antechamber or the chamber that is behind the 12 petal chakra. The chamber is located in the eighth chakra, and that eighth chakra has eight petals. So if you can look as though you were looking off to the side of that chakra in the direction of the heart where your heart would be, there is where you would position this eight petal chakra. So first we must perfect divine love in the heart. We must understand that chakras are not perfect. They are shown as perfect on this chart. But as we have misused God's energy, so that energy collects around the vortex of the chakra, the wheel, the flower of those petals unfolding. Every petal of every chakra has a significance of a certain and specific vibration. So the pure power of this 12 petal chakra is the power of love. Any force of anti-love that we have ever qualified that has collected there will be a block to our expression of true divine love, compassion, charity, understanding, the givingness of ourselves. What usually collects at the heart chakra is what is called hardness of heart or the unmerciful heart. The unmerciful heart never forgives. It may say that it forgives. People may say, yes, I forgive you. But they hold bitterness and resentment, not only for one lifetime, but for many, many lifetimes. The ability to forgive 
is the primary quality of Christ. When someone has a true capacity to forgive and forget and move on, you know that they have a developed Christ flame. The unmerciful heart, unless it does change, unless it does enter into that true spirit of Christ forgiveness, will not see God, will not enter the kingdom of God. We need to truly search our souls to know if we harbor resentment toward any part of life. It is not easy to forgive, especially grave wrongs, wrongs involving life and death. I can tell you how I have come to that equipoise of forgiveness. It is the understanding of the promise of God. God has said to us, vengeance is mine, I will repay. He has made good on that by establishing his law of karma, which is inexorable, it is unerring. Karma means that everything that everyone does eventually comes back to them. If people send out condemnation and hate and hate creations, if they do wicked things, if they murder, rape, kill, abuse, life, they will bear the burden of that in such a horrendous way that they are to be pitied and not to be condemned. They will not escape the law. Sometimes we think we have to take justice into our own hands because the law doesn't act fast enough. We don't see anything happening. We see the evildoer getting off scot-free. What we learn from the teachings of Philos the Tibetan in his book, The Dweller on Two Planets, is that the return of karma sometimes takes lifetimes, not even in the next lifetime, but many lifetimes down the road. Suddenly an individual may be in the heyday of success and accomplishment, and all of a sudden some grave calamity comes upon him. We see this every day upon Earth. We see it in the lives of friends, people who are lovely people. We cannot understand why such a burden would come upon them. It is because they have advanced far beyond the scene of the crime committed in ancient times, which now comes full circle to their doorstep. And so it seems that the law is unjust and they are undeserving of what has happened to them. A mother with eight children to care for suddenly passes on from an unknown disease. The answer lies in a true understanding of justice and a true understanding that every soul who is a servant of God truly desires to pay his debts and make things right. And the soul is accepting of the karma when finally it comes due if that soul is not in rebellion against God and cursing God. We have come then to an age beginning on April 23rd, 1990 and going through to the year 2002 April 22nd, a 12-year period of a very intense return of karma. Each April 23rd seems to bring an excess of calamities upon the earth, as we, as we have noticed since this past April 23rd. 100,000 people washed out to sea in the hurricanes that have hit Bangladesh. You can be sure that it is karma of one sort or another and by the soul being purged of that karma, laying down its life for some past wrong, the soul is better prepared to come into embodiment again without that karma. The expiation of karma is absolutely necessary to our progress on the path. The ascended masters have taught us that we can avert ultimate untimely death or accidents that cause us to be crippled for life or con conditions that really limit us by entering immediately into loving service to life as soon as we understand the law and by calling forth the violet flame. The violet flame is an intense light and energy which transmutes these past records for which we are truly sorry and have profound regret that we have harmed or injured any part of life or that we have broken any one of God's laws. We desire with all of our hearts to make good on past actions of wrong 
so God gives us the opportunity. And the Lord's Prayer says it all, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, which means that in the same manner in which we forgive one another, our God will forgive us. And if we do not forgive one another our sins in our hearts, then that mercy will also be withheld from us. This is the grave danger of the unmerciful heart. It hurts most of all the one who re retains it. Hardness of heart is like a substance of concrete that encases the heart and doesn't allow us to send out love. Hardness of heart creates insensitivity to life. We no longer identify with another's pain, but we expect everyone else to identify with our sorrows and our pains. Opening up the heart to the sufferings of humanity and to individual persons we know, providing comfort and care for them, is the beginning of the melting of that granite that can encase the heart so that it cannot expand. This is the condition of many today. And so, if you would be a candidate for the Ascension and for being initiated in the Mystery Schools of the Great White Brotherhood, you must take a look at your heart. The Bible says that out of the heart are the issues of life. All issues of life come out of our hearts. And how we express love and to what degree and to what level of self-sacrifice in so doing will determine just how that heart chakra, the 12 petal chakra, can be strengthened and expanded and be powerful until we can visualize and know that we are walking with the thought form, the matrix over our heart that is called the sacred heart of Jesus Christ. If you look at Catholic pictures of Jesus and statues, they will most always show a heart, sometimes with a garland of flowers around it. And they will show the heart, which is called the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And there is a sword that pierces her heart, not only for the crucifixion of her son, but for the loss of many souls. Their hearts are open to us, and their hearts strengthen us. We want to get to the place where our hearts will strengthen others. Because God wants so much for us to expand love in our hearts, he allows us to suffer and to know pain and to reap our karma. Because for most people, the only way that we really learn our lessons is through pain. Either we learn our lessons for the love of God and his people, or we learn them by experiencing pain and sorrow whereby we have grieved we have suffered loss, we have suffered burden in our bodies, and suddenly we have a knowing of how everyone else in the world has suffered and what other people have gone through. So pain is the other side of bliss. When you know intense pain, so you come to the place of transcending that pain. And if you have a right heart, you have gratitude to God for the experience of suffering and pain because through it you come to the point of exaltation of God in yourself and you know his bliss in you. Those who do not love God or his law become angry at God for every, every calamity that comes upon them. And they blame God for all the wrongs and ills of the world instead of seeing that we by free will have created everything that takes place upon the planet. When you come to the age of responsibility, that you understand that everything has happened, that has happened to you in your life is the result of your doing in this life or a previous life, you are about to begin the walk of the responsible son and daughter of God. You are about to turn around and face the sun pick up all the debris you have scattered hither and thither carelessly and irresponsibly, put it into the violet flame, and be accountable for how you have spent God's limitless energy given to you. So as we approach this throne of grace, the threefold flame, the three in one of the heart, we then are able to meditate upon love and to know that without love, it is impossible to reunite with God. So I would like you to take on page nine of the Heart, Head, and Hand booklet, The Threefold Flame of Life, 
by Zarathustra. Zarathustra is the great prophet of God. He came to deliver the message of the sacred fire. He sponsors us by his great attainment of the sacred fire in expanding the divine spark in our hearts. The threefold flame that is in the antechamber has been reduced to one sixteenth of an inch in height in most people. That is in people who have not so totally extinguished that spark that they have none at all. People through anger and condemnation of God have in fact blown out that flame and do not have it. The meaning of Jesus Christ, our Savior, in this moment is that he has saved us to give us another opportunity to earn back that threefold flame, to expand it, to balance it, and also to receive a reconnection to our Holy Christ Self. At this moment, you will address that threefold flame by simply saying, O mighty threefold flame of life. When you address that flame, you are addressing the Trinity of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit because it is their light that does coalesce as the three plumes of the flame, the blue, the yellow, and the pink. To realize that you are addressing God's consciousness and the very personification of God in a flame that is one sixteenth of an inch high presents a miracle, a miracle of God's intercession and the reality that God does live in our temple in this very moment. It is such a precious sense of the holiness of God that we feel, of the light of God, of his sacred fire, that this is what in fact makes us issues of God, sons and daughters of God, that we have in this temple here below the very essence of our immortal identity. And God has breathed upon this flame, the breath of the Holy Spirit, has reignited it in this temple. Each time we have been born, each time our soul has descended into a new body, we are reconnected here below. It is the miracle of this flame that allows you to think, to order your life, to make decisions, to have discrimination between light and darkness and good and evil to direct your life, to exercise your free will as being congruent with God's will. This is the seat of your real consciousness. It's not in the brain, it's in the heart. So let us give number nine on page nine and see what this feels like. I ask you to pour all the love of your being that you can feel and know for Almighty God. In fact, I want you to forgive God for those things that you think he may have done to you by loss of life or the loss of a child or a loved one or other calamities. Forgive God for the karma that you've brought with you in this life that is yours, not his. Withdraw from God in this moment all blame that you may feel for any circumstances that are not to your liking. This will be the moment of truly making peace with your godparents. Together. O mighty threefold flame of life, thou gift of God so pure, take my thoughts and energy and make them all secure. Under bond of brotherhood and understanding fair, send thee forth unto my soul the gift of holy prayer. Communication strands of love how they woo by heaven's law, a tender blessing for the good, releasing holy awe, that draws me near the throne of grace to now behold thy sacred face, and without fear dispense aright the passions of pure God delight, which set me free from all that's been the sinful nature of all men. Christ raise me to self-mastery, the living passion of the free. Determination now arise, and lift me ever to the skies. I am, I am, I am, enfolding life and being all, 
with the God command, amen, that shatters human pall. I am, I am, I am the free, no bondage holds me back. I am the fullness of love's law, supplying every lack, and consecration in full measure is my will and God's own pleasure. Saint Germain and Jesus dear, hold my hand with Moria's here, and let the love of Mary then be the wings to raise all men, until they all unite in love to serve that purpose from above that comes to earth at any hour, responding to the call of power. Send thy shining wisdom then, that is God's love expanded for all men. I thank thee, and I accept this done right now with full power. I am this done right now with full power. This is the full manifestation of the law of love that raises me to my eternal victory now and forever. You have now made contact with that threefold flame, perhaps as never before in this life and many lifetimes. Visualize yourself sitting in the seat of this consciousness, sitting in the seat of the throne, the three in one, where your holy Christ self may also abide. As you are centered there and keep returning in consciousness there throughout this service, you will intensify and reinforce the sense of your being present in your heart. It is a centering because from the sun center of your being, you are in command of your forces. Desires that leap out in all directions, you are in the center. You are the charioteer of the four horsemen of your four lower bodies, the memory body or etheric, the mental body, the desire body, which is called the astral body or the emotional body, and the physical. So you hold the reins of desire, you hold the reins of your thought process, you hold the reins of the physical habit patterns, you have a centeredness in the will of God, and you can feel yourself sending out light and yet no longer scattered or disorganized. You have a center. The center is more accurate and purer than the brain because the brain can become scrambled. It is programmed by parents, teachers, society, all kinds of misconceptions about everything. But when the heart is purified, it is a pure contact with the Christ flame. So what I would like you to do is to feel yourself fanning that flame. Remember when it is written in scripture where Jesus breathed upon them the breath of the Holy Spirit. That breath is for the fanning and, and increasing and acceleration of that spiritual fire. So we call to God, we call to our Holy Christ self to keep this flame blazing, to not let it go out. And in so doing, we remind ourselves that by free will, we have the power to snuff it out. Let us not follow schools of thought that tell us that if we feel like it, we should just let loose and erupt in a rage or in an anger because that's how we feel at the moment. This will not solve your problems. It will increase them because each time you so do, you create a momentum and you strengthen the momentum of doing it. What we need to see is that anger at the unconscious level is usually anger against God for some ancient sense of his injustice toward us. Subconscious levels of anger and rage may not have anything to do with anyone in this life but ancient records. Those records and that anger will be dissolved if we desire them to be dissolved, if we will allow them to be consumed by the great light the sacred fire, the unfed flame. If we do not want to surrender them, we want to be angry, well, we are not on the path then. I don't know how to counsel someone who wants to be able to vent his rage at will and at his pleasure, knowing that it is harmful to others, knowing that it is misqualifying God's energy again. The path of the true teachings of Jesus Christ is the path of those 
who have decided to be disciples, which means to be the disciplined one, to discipline one's energies, not to suppress it, nor to vent it at will, but to know that energy that is misqualified can be transmuted if you surrender to God and call upon a law of forgiveness for even having such momentums in your being. So therefore recognize that it is possible to put out the threefold flame by harboring these angers that come as archetypal angers against absolutes such as against God the Father or God the Son or God the Holy Spirit, God the Divine Mother, God manifest in the little child, God manifest in one another. Therefore, when the heart is full of love, we have a forbearance against expressing that anger toward anyone. Keep my flame blazing. When the flame goes out, the individual becomes then a robot. The only difference between us and animals or robots is that we have a heart flame that burns. Burns with the love of Christ whereby we can contact all planes of God's being, all 33 steps and levels that I outlined to you in my chart last evening. This is such a miracle when we think that the body is finite, the brain is finite, everything else about us is corruptible, will disintegrate, will be no more, but the flame itself will burn on, and if the soul will fasten herself to that flame, she will rise also in the hour of transition. Keep my flame blazing, page eight, number eight. May this be a very private experience for you, communing with God as never before. Maintaining this contact by love, continually pouring forth all of your love to God. By this contact with this fire, you speak directly to your I am presence above you. This speaking to God goes through your Holy Christ self, the mediator. Because you have a flame in your heart, you have a direct line of communication. This is the adoration to God. Feel all of the love that you have ever been and are, all the gratitude that you feel for all the gifts and graces of life, the very blessedness of being on earth. Feel all of this acknowledgement and love and wonder and precious sense of love simply pour to your I am presence above you. Let us give this together. Beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in me, my very own beloved Holy Christ Self. By and through the magnetic power of the immortal, victorious, threefold flame of love, wisdom, and power burning within my heart, I decree. Beloved, mighty, I am presence, thou life that beats my heart, Come now and take dominion, make me of thy life a part. Rule supreme and live forever in the flame of blaze within. 
Let me from thee never sever, our reunion now begin. All the days proceed in order from the current of thy power, flowing forward like a river, rising upward like a tower. I am faithful to thy love ray, blazing forth life as a sun. I am grateful for thy right way and thy precious word well done. I am, I am, I am adoring thee. I am, I am, I am adoring thee. I am, I am, I am adoring thee. O oh God, you are so magnificent. 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 Oh God, O oh God, you are so magnificent. 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 I am, I am, I am adoring thee. I am, I am, I am adoring thee. I am, I am, I am adoring thee. Moving onward to perfection, I am raised by love's great grace to thy center of direction. Behold, at last I see thy face, image of immortal power, wisdom, love, and honor too. Flood my being now with glory. Let my eyes see none but you. O oh God, you are so magnificent. O oh God, you are so magnificent. O oh God, you are so magnificent. I am, I am, I am adoring thee. 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 O God, you are so magnificent. O God, you are so magnificent. O God, you are so magnificent. My very own beloved I am. Beloved I am. Beloved I am. Let us now address our Holy Christ Self, speaking to the Holy Christ Self. Knowing the flame in the heart, we're going to take the song from page 21 that is sung to the decree. To the Holy Christ Self. I ask you to recite your prayers to Jesus Christ, to your Holy Christ Self, and believe and know that it is the desire of God for you to be bonded, to merge with, to be fused to your Holy Christ Self, which is stated as the soul becoming the bride of Christ, Christ the bridegroom. This we desire to increase, to accelerate in our lives today. Yes. Yeah. 
Having established now this platform of devotion, we are ready to call forth the violet flame to dissolve and to transmute the hardness of heart. We have disassociated ourselves from the unmerciful heart, the hardness of heart, and therefore we can, from the subjective state of union with Christ and with the Trinity, direct the violet flame into that which is not real about ourselves. The unmerciful heart and the hardness of heart is simply absolute unreality. We disclaim it. We cast it into the sacred fire. We call on the law of forgiveness and we ask that it be consumed. This violet flame cassette, which I hope you will make your own for the most miracle transmutation of your life, begins with the I love you waltz to Saint Germain. The reason we sing to Saint Germain is scientific. It's not just because we decide we want to sing a song. When we invoke the violet flame, the effect of our invocation can be a million times our own if we will tie in to the ascended master who has sponsored that gift and that flame. God has given to us through the ascended master Saint Germain a dispensation to use the violet flame. It's actually an experiment to see if the people of earth will use that flame only for constructive purposes. And Saint Germain has been willing to bear any karma they make in its misuse. We make karma if we invoke the flame and then turn around and do despot to someone and carry on in our old ways. We have to know when we invoke the flame of God, it is a holy experience. It is a direct communion with God. And only your own sense of limitation will stop you from fully entering into and being drenched, purified, healed, cleansed, washed clean by the violet flame. So we express our love to Saint Germain for being the ascended master, the guru who sponsors us in the use of this sacred fire. The violet flame is one seventh, let us say, of the white light. It is one flame of the seven color bands that come out of the white light. So I would like to make an invocation to Saint Germain now, <clears throat> which you could follow in your heart if you agree with it. Beloved mighty I am presence, beloved holy Christ, self and beloved holy Christ, flame in our hearts. Through the miracle manifestation of God's divine love in us, through the gift of this flame that burns on the altar of the heart, through the gift of the holy Christ self and the I am presence, we address you, our beloved Saint Germain, and your twin flame, beloved Portia. Saint Germain, we are so grateful for the violet flame and all that it does for us each day. We pour our love to you and through you, to Almighty God and the great Central Sun. Multiply our calls now by the power of the 10,000 times 10,000, squared by the number of students in this room. Receive our hearts, beloved Saint Germain. Purify us and teach us the profound love of your forgiveness. This we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother. Amen.
Thank you. Please be seated. We'll be going through some thought forms, visualizations that you can use with these heart, head, and hand decrees. So on the screen, you'll see chalk drawings of the violet flame. So you can visualize it in your heart, your head, your hand, then your tube of light for which we will stand, and then the law of forgiveness. Violet fire, thou love of Diva, raise within this heart of mine. Thou art mercy forever true, keep me all in tune with you. Violet fire, thou love of Diva, raise within this heart of mine. Thou art mercy forever true, keep me all in tune with you. Violet fire, thou love of Diva, raise within this heart of mine. Thou art mercy forever true, keep me all in tune with you. Violet fire, thou love of Diva, raise within this heart of mine. Thou art mercy forever true, keep me all in tune with you. I am like the crest in me, set my mind forever free. Violet fire forever shine, deep within this mind of mine. God who gives my daily bread with violet fire, fill my head till thy radiance heaven light makes my mind a mind of light. I am like the Christ in me, set my mind forever free. Violet fire forever shine, deep within this mind of mine. God who gives my daily bread with violet fire, fill my head. Till thy radiance heaven light makes my mind a mind of light. I am like the Christ in me, set my mind forever free. Violet fire forever shine, deep within this mind of mine. God who gives my daily bread with violet fire, fill my head. Till thy radiance heaven light makes my mind a mind of light. I am like the Christ in me, set my mind forever free. Violet fire forever shine, deep within this mind of mine. God who gives my daily bread with violet fire, fill my head. Till thy radiance heaven light makes my mind a mind of light. I am the hand of God in action, gaining victory every day. My your soul great satisfaction is to walk the middle way. I am the hand of God in action, gaining victory every day. My your soul great satisfaction is to walk the middle way. I am the hand of God in action, gaining victory every day. My your soul great satisfaction is to walk the middle way. I am the hand of God in action, gaining victory every day. My personal great satisfaction is to walk the middle way. I am the hand of God in action, gaining victory every day. My personal great satisfaction is to walk the middle way. Won't you stand to put on your tube of light? This is a decree we always stand for, for the full visualization of the I am presence. You do this every morning. You can even do it in the shower. You can do it wherever you are but just do it. Call forth the tube of light, a great cylinder of perfection that descends from the heart of your I am presence all around you, protecting you, sealing you, loving you, and in the center is the violet flame of the Holy Spirit that transmutes your burdens, and beyond that tube of light you always visualize an additional cylinder of blue flame protection. We face the chart of the presence as we say this. Beloved, I am presence bright, round me seal your tube of light. From ascended master flame, call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all this sort sent to me. I am calling with violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire. Keeping on in freedom, saying, till I am one with a violet flame. Beloved, I am presence bright, round me seal your tube of light. From ascended master flame, call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all this sort sent to me. I am calling with violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire. Keeping on in freedom, saying that I am one with a violet flame. Beloved, I am presence bright, round me seal your tube of light. From ascended master flame, call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all this sort sent to me. I am calling with violet fire, blaze and transmute all desire. Keeping on in freedom, saying to I am one with a violet flame. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting them forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour. To all life in every place, I pledge for forgiving grace. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free, wings of crossing victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour. To all life in every place, I pledge for forgiving grace. 
I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour, to all I fit in every place, I fled for forgiving grace. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour, to all life in every place, I put for forgiving grace. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour, to all life in every place, I put for forgiving grace. Going back to the Har Head in Hand booklet, you will see the remainder of these decrees. We go on with supply, perfection, transfiguration, resurrection, and ascension. Let us give Saint Germain's mantra that he has given to us that is so simple to remember, so easy to give in those moments when we are otherwise idling, waiting for the next thing to happen. You can e even put off the ads on TV and give your violet flame mantras between segments of the news. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. That's the mantra. It's very simple. You can hear all your horses eager to go and give that mantra. You are affirming that God is where I am, and I am that God in manifestation, and God in me right now is manifesting the violet flame. I'm a being of violet fire. That means it's the nature of my being. I'm a ray of God of the seventh ray. I am saturated with a violet light. My aura is expanding to include my entire household, my family, my community, my state, nation, and planet. I am seeing the violet flame penetrate the ocean, transmuting the oil spills. I am seeing the detoxification of the environment, of all toxic waste, all substance that is harmful to life. I know the violet flame in concentration can transmute all of this. I am seeing the purification of the air and the water, the uses of the atoms, of all animal life who are burdened by man's misuses of the synthetically produced chemicals, etc. I am seeing the violet flame heal, the rent, in the ozone layer, I am seeing the violet flames saturate everywhere and bring the ecosystem back into alignment. I call to the nature spirits of fire, air, water, and earth as I affirm that where I am, God is, that God is everywhere in the heart of the earth and on the earth, and I go with God with a violet flame as the extension of himself in form, now letting the violet flame to flow through my heart and all of my chakras as directed rays of concentrated light for world transmutation. Together. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. This is a service and a lecture on meditation. 
So why are we not being silent and meditating? I will tell you why. It is because we in the West have great difficulty in absolute concentration, the concentration that is required in true meditation. Apart from that, we have a difficulty in visualization because we have not had to exercise our imagination or that third eye because everything is shown to us. Everything is created for us on TV and in the movies. So we don't have to listen to the radio and visualize the Lone Ranger and visualize all these westerns happening and all the soap operas. We, all we have to do is sit back and let them impress upon us whatever thought forms they have chosen to create. I have found that in all my classes, people have very little ability to see with their inner sight something that I describe. Something as simple as a sun or a star or a daisy. Many people cannot call that up on the screen of their visualization and see a daisy, an exact duplicate of a daisy that is growing in the field that they may have seen every day. And so what the Ascended Masters have done for us during this period of the healing that people need to go through is to give us words. And the words of these decrees actually contain direction for what you should be seeing. I am a being of violet fire. You should really see yourself as you are, as the lower figure in the chart, like the chakra man here. See yourself running in the race, as Paul said, that he ran for the race for the prize of the high calling in Jesus Christ. The movement of the body, moving with the flame, the chakras aligned. You need to look at that thought form, close your eyes and see if you can remember everything that is in it. Can you remember the colors, where they are, the petals? Can you see yourself looking exactly like that, that person and you see the crystal cord descending through the crown chakra from the I am presence? The third reason why we do not just sit silently and meditate is because the time is very, very short. There is heavy karma in the earth. The power of the spoken word is the power to create. Every time you use your throat center, you are creating. Words go forth and they manifest physically. So the ascended masters and we need God's creations to manifest immediately. These decrees are dictated by the ascended masters. They are like mantras handed down from ancient Hindu gurus that have been given thousands of times, except these come from not the unascended masters, but the ascended masters of the Far East and of the world. So these words are cups that you fill and you visualize yourself pouring the energy of your heart into these cups as you say the word. So you are meditating and you can see how long you can keep yourself riveted on a certain visualization. And all of a sudden you'll be saying the words, but your mind is thinking about what you're gonna eat for dinner or what's going on outside or somebody you spoke to yesterday or a pain you may have in your foot. I mean, it's so very easy for us as Western people to simply be distracted that it takes a tremendous discipline. And the discipline is easier when you're concentrating on words, on speaking, and looking at the words as the point of your focus of attention rather than a blank wall or just the white light. So what these decrees really do is to combine visualization, meditation, and the science of the spoken word. You put the three together and you do them simultaneously. After you give these decrees for a while, you have them memorized. Also, they are a very strong record and imprint in your consciousness, in all levels of your consciousness. So you have the power of reinforcement. Decrees are never vain repetition because they are thoughtful, they are scientific, they are devotional. And each time we give them, we pour anew our devotion to God. And so what we are doing is building a momentum of creating with light. So the repetition of the decree is not hypnotic unless you decide to induce self-hypnosis. But that's your doing. That's not the decree's doing. And of course, the ascended masters don't recommend it, and they forbid it with their chilas. 
So you will find that when you can discipline the mind to concentrate on a single thought form for even three minutes without diverting the attention, that you then have a reason to meditate in silence. Until you can do that, you don't have to wait to gain that mastery. You can give these decrees and be performing a tremendous work for the planet. So I would like you to know that we do meditate and we do use the Bija mantras, which are at the back of this heart, head and hand booklet for the visualization and meditation on the raising of the sacred fire and the Kundalini. And there are many forms of meditation the masters have given us and I have taped many sessions of meditation in which I combine visualization, decrees and music or just a guided meditation. Today we want to activate the heart and we want to get to understand how we combine the spoken word with meditation. This is what the entire New Age movement is missing today who do not give any kind of mantra or prayer form regularly. They are missing the anchoring in the physical atoms of the earth and the physical atoms of their body, the light that they have contacted in meditation. Only the spoken word will draw it down and make it physical. I would like us to give the rest of the heart, head, and hand decrees now, beginning with supply on page four. Together. I am free from fear and doubt, casting want and misery out, knowing now all good supply ever comes from realms on high. I am the hand of God's own fortune, flooding forth the treasures of light, now receiving full abundance to supply each need of life. I am free from fear and doubt, casting want and misery out, knowing now all good supply ever comes from realms on high. I am the hand of God's own fortune, flooding forth the treasures of light, now receiving full abundance to supply each need of life. I am free from fear and doubt, casting want and misery out, knowing now all good supply ever comes from realms on high. I am the hand of God's own fortune, flooding forth the treasures of light, now receiving full abundance to supply each need of life. I am life of God, direction, blaze the light of truth in me. Focus here, all God's perfection from all discord set me free. Make and keep me anchored ever in the justice of thy plan. I am the presence of perfection, living the life of God in man. I am life of God, direction, blaze thy light of truth in me. Focus here, all God's perfection from all discord set me free. Make and keep me anchored ever in the justice of thy plan. I am the presence of perfection, living the life of God in man. I am life of God, direction, blaze thy light of truth in me. Focus here, all God's perfection from all discord set me free. Make and keep me anchored ever in the justice of thy plan. I am the presence of perfection, living the life of God in man. I am changing all my garment soul ones for the bright new day. With the sun of understanding, I am shining all the way. I am light within without, I am light is all about. Fill me, free me, glorify me, seal me, heal me, purify me. Until transfigured they descry me, I am shining like the sun. I am shining like the sun. I am changing all my garments, oh ones for the bright new day. With the sun of understanding I am shining all the way. I am light within without, I am light is all about. Fill me, free me, glorify me, seal me, heal me, purify me. Until transfigured they describe me, I am shining like the sun. I am shining like the sun. I am changing all my garments, all ones for the bright new day. With the sun of understanding, I am shining all the way. I am light within without, I am light is all about. Fill me, free me, glorify me, seal me, heal me, purify me. Until transfigured they describe me, I am shining like the sun. I am shining like the sun. I am the flame of resurrection, blazing God's pure light through me. Now I am raising every atom from every shadow, I am free. I am the light of God's full presence, I am living ever free. Now the flame of life eternal rises up to victory. I am the flame of resurrection, blazing God's pure light through me. Now I am raising every atom from every shadow, I am free. I am the light of God's full presence, I am living ever free. Now the flame of life eternal rises up to victory. I am the flame of resurrection, blazing God's pure light through me. Now I am raising every atom from every shadow, I am free. 
I am the light of God's full presence. I am living ever free. Now the flame of life eternal rises up to victory. I am the flame of resurrection, blazing God's pure light through me. Now I am raising every atom from every shadow. I am free. I am the light of God's full presence. I am living ever free. Now the flame of life eternal rises up to victory. I am ascension light, victory flowing free, all of good one at last for all eternity. I am light, all weights are gone, into the air I raise. To all I pour with full God power my wondrous song of praise. All hail, I am the living Christ, the ever loving one. Ascended now with full God power, I am a blazing sun. I am ascension light, victory flowing free, all of good one at last for all eternity. I am light, all weights are gone, into the air I raise. To all I pour with full God power, my wondrous song of praise. All hail, I am the living Christ, the ever-loving one. Ascending now with full God power, I am a blazing sun. I am ascension light, victory flowing free, all of good, one at last for all eternity. I am light, all weights are gone, into the air I raise. To all I pour with full God power, my wondrous song of praise. All hail, I am the living Christ, the ever-loving one. Ascending now with full God power, I am a blazing sun. I am ascension light, victory flowing free, all of good, one at last for all eternity. I am light, all weights are gone, into the air I raise. To all I pour with full God power, my wondrous song of praise. All hail, I am the living Christ, the ever-loving one. Ascended now with full God power, I am a blazing sun. And in full faith, I consciously accept this manifest, manifest, manifest. And in full faith, I consciously accept this manifest, manifest, manifest. And in full faith, I consciously accept this manifest, manifest, manifest. Right here and now with full power, eternally sustained, all powerfully active, ever expanding and world enfolding until all are wholly ascended in the light and free. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. This is a trilogy of invocations for meditation that begins with number nine. I am the light of the heart, then it goes to the law of forgiveness, then the violet, purple, pink. This is our opportunity to call on the law of forgiveness before all whom we have ever wronged and to forgive all those who have ever wronged us. That's in every lifetime since we first took embodiment tens of thousands of years ago. It is the greatest liberation you will ever know. It is our office to forgive. It is God's office to render his judgment and to, to deliver the increments of karma. So let us leave to God the divine justice of this cosmos, except of course if we are involved in law enforcement or in going before the courts as attorneys and so forth. We have a court system and we are expected to use it and to enact laws whereby justice may prevail here on earth as it does in heaven. Aside from that, let us simply see the glorious violet flame passing through our heart and actually visualizing it descending upon the households where we have ever had any discord. I would like to give you the opportunity to make your calls and prayers in your heart to God for all the things that you would like to put into the flame today and never take back again together. Number nine. I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of me and changing all into the golden treasury of the mind of Christ. I am projecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and to break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love, amplifying itself until it is victorious world without end. 
I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasury of the mind of Christ. I am projecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and to break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the buying itself until it is victorious world without end. I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasury of the mind of Christ. I am projecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the buying itself until it is victorious world without end. Violet flame pass up through me, whipping center keep me free. Love like a flower unfolds each hour. Wisdom in action releases God's power. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to bring electric hue flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet, flame, rise up and heal. With pink center, my being seal. Love is flowing, increasing knowing. Wisdom in action, God is bestowing. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric hue flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet flame to control today. With pink center flash forth by ray. Love's heart sealing, the real revealing. Wisdom in action is God I am feeling. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric hue flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet flame pass up through me. With pink center, keep me free. Love like a flower unfolds each hour. Wisdom in action releases God's power. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric hue flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet flame rise up and heal. With pink center my being seal. Love is flowing, increasing knowing. Wisdom in action, God is bestowing. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric hue flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet flame take control today. With pink center flash forth by ray. Love's power sealing, the real revealing. Wisdom in action is God I am feeling. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric you flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet flame pass up through me, with pink center keep me free. Love like a flower unfolds each hour. Wisdom in action releases God's power. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric you, flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet flame rise up and heal, with pink center my being seal. Love is flowing, increasing knowing, wisdom in action, God is bestowing. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric you, flashing through into all I think and say and do. Violet flame take control today, with pink center flash forth by ray. Love's power sealing, the real revealing. Wisdom and action is God I am feeling. Violet, purple, pink, flash through that I may think. God's in me, I am free, now and for eternity. Violet, purple, pink, help me now to drink. Electric hue flashing through into all I think and say and do.
and in full faith I consciously accept this manifest, manifest, manifest. And in full faith I consciously accept this manifest, manifest, manifest. And in full faith I consciously accept this manifest, manifest, manifest. Right here and now with full power, eternally sustained, all powerfully active, ever expanding and world enfolding, until all are wholly ascended in the light and free. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. In conclusion today, I would like to show you slides of the chakras to do with a chakra meditation. So first of all, I'd like to show you the slides that go with it. Now that heart chakra is showing a drawing of the threefold flame. But the threefold flame, as I explained, is in the antechamber of the eighth ray chakra. So it actually is not chaliced in that 12 petal chakra as you see it here. So you're going to visualize that chakra so that you know you're seeing 12 petals. It's like 12 rays of light, 12 ways to qualify God's energy from your heart. Then we go back to the violet flame and then we go to the throat chakra. This has 16 petals. Put your finger right at the base of your neck in that little hole. That is where you have the power of the spoken word, the power to transmit any kind of energy you choose to by free will using God's energy. You visualize it as a blue. It is the power of God, God's will. It is the first ray. In order to purify it, you see it blazing in the violet flame. That's why we go to the mantra. We'll be saying, my throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. That is the first chakra above the heart. We're going above the heart and below the heart in that order. So below the heart, you have the solar plexus. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is the purity God desires. This is the chakra of 10 petals and it links us to the desire body. And here we experience the initiation of the test of the 10. And it is the test of the testing of our desires, whether they be carnal desires, human desires, God desires, selfless or selfish desires. The object is the purification of the desire body through the violet flame. Now we go back above the heart chakra to the next chakra, which is the third eye. 96 petals, 48 on each side if you look at it as the caduceus and the two wings of Mercury. That is the point of the third eye and we wish to purify all misuses of seeing. We want to clear ourselves of holding wrong thoughts, wrong opinions, wrong ideas about people. We want to hold in our third eye a positive image on their behalf, even while we maintain the Christ discrimination of understanding people's frailties. So the third eye is a very powerful center for directing energy. Black magicians use it by projecting anger and hatred and darkness through it, and the servants of God use it to project blessing and healing. Its color is green in its perfected state, and we want to purify it with a violet flame. The soul chakra is the next chakra below the heart. This has six petals. It's between the navel and the base chakra. We call for the soul consciousness, the soul awareness to be purified with a violet flame. Now we go back above the heart chakra to the next chakra, which is the crown. It is called the thousand-petaled lotus. And so these are the petals of the unfoldment of the flower of illumination at the crown. We want to purify our minds of all misuses of God's intelligence to any destructive or limiting purposes whatsoever. And we wish to focus the unlimited mind of God and eventually attain enlightenment through this chakra. Then we go to the base chakra, which has four petals. This is the foundation of the physical body and where there is the coiled energy of the kundalini, the sacred fire that rises on the spine. When it rises, it nourishes and balances the other chakras. The masters teach us 
to give the violet flame to clear the way for the raising of the kundalini rather than to concentrate on the raising of the kundalini. So we're going to give this now. In the name I am that I am. In the name I am that I am, Jesus Christ, Saint Germain, I decree. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet
being a violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being a violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being a violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire, my heart is the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire, my heart is the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire, my heart is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is a purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is a purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is a purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is a purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is a purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is a purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire, my soul is the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire, my soul is the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire, my soul is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is a purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is a purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is a purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My base chakra is a fount of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. My base chakra is a fount of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. My base chakra is a fount of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. In the name of the light of God that never fails, I call now for the hand of Arcturus and Victoria, Zadkiel and Holy Amethyst, Saint Germain and Portia, to seal our chakras in the living reality of God, God, God. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother, I am sealing these souls in the seed of the soul chakra, the seed atom and the spirit at the point of the thymus, the threefold flame in the secret chamber of the heart, and the sacred fire in the base chakra. I call for the absolute God protection through Archangel Michael and his hosts of all who have participated in this session. Let the full power of the blue lightning of the legions of light descend now. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother, we accept it down this hour in full power. Amen. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. This is a presentation of the Summit Lighthouse, 
an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse is a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. This program is brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.summitlighthouse.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030, USA.